See, Brother Blue and I, Brother Blue has went with me, has traveled with me up to Washington, D.C. to Dr. Ben Carson at Hood. Well, let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> Jesus. I done had some things happen to me, man. <laughs> President Obama's transition team, I was getting off a plane one day. Assistant called and said, Steve is President Obama's transition team. President Obama and I were friends. I've interviewed him. He's been on my talk show. I've been to the White House and interviewed him. He's been on my radio show more than anybody's show. I go to their parties. We friends. So his transition team called me uh, around the 9th of January and said, Steve, the president feels like it's important that we sit down and have a conversation with this new administration to see if there's something we can work out. Not President Obama, just his transition team from the White House. I said, okay, cool. Next thing I know, the Trump administration transition team gets in touch with the Obama transition team. My name come up. So on January 13th, they asked me to come to Trump Towers to meet with Donald Trump. Now, the hell I caught. <laughs> the sheer misery for making that decision I've been so many coons, Uncle Tom, sellouts. I, I was stunned. I mean, the brutality of what happened to me on social media behind visiting that man in Trump Towers, it was alarming. But I'm sitting up in here and I'm trying to figure out, because you don't know, so since you don't know, here come the hate. Uncle Tom, sellout, Coon, Steve Harvey, shoe shining, celebrity friends. I thought I was really cool with coming out, talking about he ought to know better. Who, what the hell wrong with him? Whoa, 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 whoa. If President Obama, the current president, and the incoming president say they want to talk to you, who, which one of you ain't going up there? Just raise your hand if you wouldn't go so I can see how stupid you are. I just go ahead. I just want this one to see. This is what I be really wanting to say. See, I can't say none of this in front of another group, but since it's us in here, oh, I've been wanting to say this since January 13th. You better believe this right here. I've been waiting on the right crowd. Well, I'm in front of a bunch of friends right now. So, see, I can say this because I'm around a bunch of friends. You understand? Friendship is essential to the soul. You can live without your father. You can live without a relative. You can make it without your mama. You can't live in this world without a friend. Friendship is essential to the soul. Oh, Philly, my Philly, I supers. That friendship is essential to the soul. Yeah, I've been waiting on this. I'm glad Ricky Lewis asked me to come. So I go up there. President Trump did not know why I was there, but he was accommodating. I'm going to give the man this. The man was very congenial. As we said that, we talked about golf. I played golf at his golf courses a lot. I don't play well, but I play. We talked about that. He's really congenial. And we're sitting there. And he thought that since we shared a common friend, Mark Burnett, Mark Burnett produced Apprentice, and Mark Burnett produces my new show, Steve Harvey's Thunderdome, that I was there to talk about possibly doing some type of program. I said, no, sir, I'm not. So it got around to it. After 25 minutes of talking, he said, so, Steve, what can I do for you? Now, I had thought of what I would say when I got up there. So I said, well, there's really nothing I want you to do for me. I said, I want to do something for you. And he said, President Trump said, you want to help me? 
I said, yeah. I said, if you've appointed Dr. Ben Carson the head of HUD, and I would like to help him because I don't think he has the um, celebrity or the name notoriety to get to these inner cities. I've been in inner cities my whole life. I got the key to 32 cities. I've been to stand up a long time. I said, I can help him with some of these urban situations because I'm from there. And I want to do something to help him. He said, so what do you want to do? I said, well, I have a mentoring program, but my mentoring program is restrictive because I can only do about 1,000 boys. And I can do them only one time a year in each city. I want to create vision centers around the country where I can take these schools that you're closing in the inner cities, take HUD funds, put it with them, and then go in and refurbish these schools and buildings and turn them into a place where boys and girls can come and learn life skills and parents can come and learn financial skills, literacy skills to make it. And then eventually, I would like to vi build vision homes around it to help support these communities so we have wonderful communities. I want people who are less fortunate to have a better way of life. He said, I like that. Yes, Let me get Ben Carson on the phone right now. I kid you not, in two minutes he had Ben Carson on the phone. He put Ben Carson on the phone and he and I started talking and I introduced the concept to him of Vision Homes right there in the office. He said it's a done deal. I've, since then, that, that, well, the problem I had was, after the meeting was over, I was supposed to go downstairs by myself and go on over to the rope and address the media. President Trump said, Steve, I'm going to go down with you. All right. We get off the elevator. We walk up to the rope. All the cameras are on. And first thing he said, what we're going to do first thing in this office is replace and repeal Obamacare. I'm standing there, I went. Look at the tape. Go back and look at the tape and look at Steve's face. Because I'm going, there ain't shit we said upstairs. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, that's not what we said upstairs. But I was stunned, and I'm sitting here going like I'm supporting this here. I ain't said nothing like that. So then when he walked off, I was standing there with Greg Calhoun, another frat brother, and Gerald Washington, a new, oh, Crump, what's up, man? That's my man right there. You a bad boy. Man, that's my man right there. I'm sorry, I'm a fan of his, uh, Benjamin Crump, attorney. So I'm sitting here, and I walk up to the media, and I go, I'm just messed up because, man, it just looked like, and then next thing you know, all over social media, Steve supports Trump, repeal and replace Obamacare. I ain't, we ain't never even talk about Obamacare, but that's what God said. And then after that, oh, y'all, oh, oh. Oh, y'all did your boy. Am I the reason you get stoned every week now? Build up integrity, got you texting, emailing me, wanting me to feel with you. Baby, just face reality, move on. Sometimes it's hard to face reality.